would be not if though they were speaking the fire to be removed from this place and call it for false spirit did it come to this place believe and receive one million dollars is the goal for the investing of a little man rocks the power of the building of the poor man's hip hop we are is to fall. But the investing of a little man rocks the power movement, the building of the poor man's empire. One million. This is a pot prosperity and process. One million. We coming in at the last stop. And I heard somebody say that the first shall be last. And the last shall be first. Huh? Many be called, but few are chosen. And we believe we have been chosen for this hour. Huh? Predestinated for this hour. To accumulate one million dollars. For the investing of the little man rise to power movement. The building of the poor man's empire. Hmm? You see, many have come before us today through this YouTube. And they have been nothing but thieves and robbers exploiting the poor. Huh? The bishop, he has come. Teaching that which he ought not teach for filthy lucre. Hmm? Now that's a blame. And the bishop should be blameless. False apostles, deceitful workers. Speaking great swelling words of vanity, eh? alluring through the lust of the flesh. All raters and eloquent speakers making merchandise out of the people. Eh? The priest, he has come in his holy garments, robbing God, hmm? stealing the tithe hmm? in the offering. Eh? And the false prophet, he has come with his wife, the prophetess. And they both have prophesied nothing but lies. Hmm? And the false Christ, he has come. Hmm? I heard somebody say that many false Christ shall arise. Hmm? So the false Christ, he has come. Huh? Not healing the sick. Not opening up the eyes of the blind. Hmm? Not making the deaf to hear. Not making the dumb to speak. Not raising the dead. Huh? But he is making a proclamation that he is going to walk on the waters huh? at the reservoir. Huh? In the pastor, he has come. The pastor who scattered the sheep, justified fornication in adultery. Hmm? Because God permitted lament. To have two wives, a son of Cain, the wicked one. Huh? Talking about, you know, King Solomon had 700 wives and 300 concubines. Huh? Your pastor is drinking alcohol and reading the Bible on public TV and can't put a difference between being sober minded and being intoxicated. Huh? And he that is a howling, he has come, camouflaging, lifting up his voice like a trumpet, masquerading, eh? that he is pro 
for the Black Lives Matter movement, and he is pro for the black community, and he is pro for black America, and he is pro for blacks getting reparations, and he is a howling, uh, he's in it for wages, hmm? with a personal agenda, a self-invested interest, uh, a howling, he's in it for wages. He is not doing it for the love of the people. He is doing it for the love of money. Huh? I believe he's been hanging out in Hollywood with the OJs having a family reunion. Huh? But the rise to power move with the building of the poor man's empire. Hmm? You see, our prayer and heart desire is for the poor man. Hmm? That he be saved from the pits of hell and that he be delivered out of the hands of the wicked rich. Uh, our prayer and heart desire for the poor man is that he become independently established, prosperous, walk in truth and be in good health. Uh, or we have no greater joy than to see the poor man rise up out of poverty, become prosperous, walk in truth and be in good health. Huh? I heard somebody say, he who have pity on the poor, lend it unto the Lord. Mm? And that which he have given, he will pay again. Uh, did you hear what it said? Oh, somebody missed that. He who have pity on the poor, lend it unto the Lord. And that which he have given, he will pay again. Uh, now, let me give you an example. If you contribute and donate to the rise to power movement, the building of the poor man's empire, huh? Oh, you won't lose nothing. Hmm? You will see it again. Hmm? You won't lose nothing. You will be recompensed, huh? You won't lose not one copper penny. You won't lose not one thin dime. You won't lose not one silver quarter. You won't lose not one green dollar bill. Uh, you will see it again. You will be recompensed. I heard somebody say, it is more of a blessing to give than to receive. Give and it shall be given to you. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. Uh, with the same measure that you meet. With all, it shall be measured to you again. Huh? If you sow sparingly, you will also reap sparingly. Huh? But now what happens if you sow bountifully? Huh? See, when you sow sparingly, you are sowing small quantities. When you sow bountifully, you are sowing large quantities. Huh? If you sow bountifully, you will also reap bountifully by the recompense of a man's hand it will be rendered to him huh? so bountifully to the rise to power movement the building of the poor man's empire huh? and reap an abundance one million dollars is the quota and this is not to heap it upon lust or to advance from poverty just to live a lavish lifestyle in luxury to be flossing in show road. No, that is not our primary reason for accumulating one million dollars. Huh? To live a lavish lifestyle in luxury to be flossing in show road. Hmm? If you think that is our primary reason for accumulating one million dollars, then you have it distorted, twisted, and you have missed it. Huh? But now let me clarify. Stop the talking. Let me clarify. Let me make it crystal clear. Our primary reason for accumulating $1 million is for the investing of the little man rise to power movement, the building of the poor man's empire. We are accepting all contributions and donations from the least to the greatest, starting from those who are rejected and despised to those who are nobles, honored, and dignified. One million dollars is the quota for the investing of the little man rise to power movement, 
the building of the poor man's empire. One million. 